This is of Quality Stocks. Today is Thursday, February 17, 2011, and today we're going to take a look at Ceres Corp. This is a NASDAQ global market stock, trading our ticker CERS. See a nice climb yesterday, increase in volume, up almost 5%, 1.1 million shares traded. Great climb off the bottom, nice consolidation. With the volume and move yesterday, it's going on radar to try and break out today. See, just over the last week, getting an uptrend in the histogram, telling us a bullish cross may be happening with MACD. Holding over zero is always what we look for. It's the most bullish way for it to do a retracement and then try and make another climb. You see a classic pincher set up. Great climb off the pinch. Trend towards zero. Break through it. Reset with the PPO. Very nice look. Of course, we'll be looking for that trend line to be broken in the ADX. We'll put you back through 30, get you into a strong trend. We look for that ADX to continue to try and flatten and make its curl at this point. Some of the things we look for, holding over 50. You can see the 21 days threatening that. So we're just at it right now, 50.50. .50. And look for that to try and make its reversal. We can keep all three components of this indicator holding over top of that key area. Got a flattening of the accumulation distribution, holding a base. Now recently starting to put together a little bit of an uptrend. Of course, we're going to look for new highs to be made. We're going to want to see it break out of that channel and show buying pressure stronger. Taking money flow, kind of going right along with that. In a channel, floating somewhere right around zero, buying and selling pressure relatively equal. Again, seeing a little bit of a turn heading back towards zero. We're going to look for this to break through. Try and get some increased buying pressure showing up in that indicator. CCI breaking out of its downtrend with the move yesterday, pushing back towards 100. Of course, CCI users are looking for that break of 100 for the buy signal. Full still, basically holding bull chart territory. Some momentum coming back into this stock. Tricks similar to the MACD and PPO, got a bearish cross there, but it's lagging. We're going to look for it to turn and make its roll holding over top of zero in the long term is what you want to see from the tricks, so that still has an okay look to it. RSI staying pretty strong, holding over top of 50. 7 now breaking through the 14 and 21. A little bit of an upturn in them yesterday, you can see. So we're going to look for this to try and enter into the strong momentum zone above 70. Any sort of pullback, we're going to want to see this trail try and hold this area. A bottom area of around 330, preferably 340. You can see it was a little bit of resistance back in through here. Even historically, going all the way back to this area, 340 is what we'd look for. Plus, this kind of has a cup look to it. We talk about the cup and handle continuation pattern and the strength that it has, and it kind of has that rounded look right now. So I'd like to see it hold 340 on any sort of pullbacks. What I'm going to be looking for is strong buying pressure to try and push it through 360. You can see it touched 359 yesterday. It peaked up to 368 at the top of this last run. So that's going to come into play, but right now you can see it's only wicked up above that and come back down every day. So let's look for 360 to become a strong resistance point. And, of course, we're going to look for that to go right through to that 368, try and make a higher high. It ties back in with the support level back here last September, October. So that area is going to be tough for it. We're going to want to see this get some volume, get a push, and hold its gains, not just wick up and come back down. If we want to see it close near the high of a day to break through resistance levels such as this. Got the Bollinger Bands all tightened up at this point. Moving averages all pulling tight together. 50-day heading towards the 200-day. And overall, we're starting to see a pretty good uptrend in the 200-day. And the 50-day is starting to get a nice uptrend to it as well. So this chart's taking on a pretty bullish look. We're going to look for the breakout of that resistance, holding on that support level, see if volume can stay strong, and ultimately be shooting for this to make a new high. Get through $4. Again, that's nice gains from where it is, over 10% away. More importantly, for the overall look of this chart, you want to see it take out this high, establish this as a bottom, and continue to make its move upward. So those are the things I'm going to be looking for in the CERS chart today. As always, merely my interpretation. This is Andy with Quality Stocks. Thanks for watching, and trade smart. Oh, <laughs>